I find it very frustrating that the kinds of information you can get into establishment papers is limited. For example, in political reporting, um, I often find myself writing open quotes, bullshit, 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 comma, close quote, said State Senator Joe Dokes on Tuesday. And then I have always wanted to put in, parenthetically, Dokes is a well-known liar, close paren. <laughs> Because I feel that this is useful information for my readers. <laughs> but I have yet to find an editor who will let me do that. <laughs> Even though it is both fact and truth. Um, another thing that happens um, is that American journalists deliberately dull their own tool. It's an absolutely peculiar profession in this regard. We limit the way we can use language and the kind of language we can use. I once had an editor tell me, adjectives and adverbs, Ms. Ivins, are dangerous words. Well, hell, there went half the English language. Um, I remember years ago when I uh, was covering the Chicago conspiracy trial after the 68 Democratic Convention. It was one of the great political show trials of the 60s children. Um, Seven guys who didn't know each other got indicted for causing a riot. Um, and uh, they had brought in a bunch of star witnesses, one of whom was Norman Mailer. Um, and the judge in that case, Julius, Julie, what was his name? Hoffman, Julie Hoffman. He looked and sounded exactly like Mr. Magoo. And Mailer would commence to wa wax Mailer rest on the witness stand, and Judge Hoffman would have his little gavel and say, stick to the facts, Mr. Mailer, just the facts, Mr. Mailer. And uh, Mailer finally turned to him and said, facts, Your Honor, without their nuance mean nothing. And I find that increasingly true, that in Mer American journalism, what we most often do is get the facts straight and let the truth go hang itself. Um, and I, because truth, for some reason, by our canons, is not considered objective, I see this constantly on my own level. I pick up, I can go to a committee hearing up at the state capitol that runs hip deep in double crosses and triple crosses and open bribery and so much pressure that I have seen people walk out of the room and vomit before they came back and voted. And I pick up the Houston Post the next morning and the story says, House Bill 327 was passed out of subcommittee by a unanimous vote on Tuesday. It is what is left out to me that is astonishing. What American journalism does in essence is take 24 hours of human history, all that rich, comic, tragic, joyous, hysterical, tragic, wonderful, moving, exciting, quotidianness of 24 hours of human history and wring from it every ounce of juice and joy and life and love and sorrow and collect it in a set of dried facts. Plop it on your front porch every morning, kind of like a dried turd in a plastic bag that says, good morning. Um, in addition to the fact that this makes your daily newspaper extremely boring to read, uh, it is kind of like wading through the prose on the back of a bottle of castor oil in most cases. Um, one of the things that objectivity does is that it makes American journalism into a megaphone for those with power. And I think we have recently seen that demonstrated to an extent that uh, I thought I had become fairly cynical as becomes a good journalist after 20 years of working in the field uh, really astonished me. Uh, during the per Persian Gulf crisis, the extent to which the media in this country were dominated by those with power is just amazing. And the, the paucity of alternative voices shocked me. And I'm, I, as I say, had not held real high expectations going in. Uh, so I guess I was surprised that I was surprised. Um, so that's what it's like to work for a daily newspaper. Um, Sometimes you can get yourself fired, as I have, uh, for doing things like trying to use the phrase gang pluck to describe a community chicken slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Abe Rosenthal never did have any sense of humor. Um, 
for those of us who labor in these peculiar institutions, um, it seems to me that in some ways they are getting better. Um, it's not as bad as it was when I started, but then that damn little consolation given.